What's up guys, this is Vlad Camera from Dreamlight. Now in this video I'm going to show you how this new Stonemason HDRI pack will give you great looking renders, quick renders, alright, and without all the you know, overhead of large props. If you've been using you know, large uh, props like 300,000, 500,000, even 7,000, 700,000 polygon props, then you know they can slow down your design time and even rendering time, right? Everything just becomes, you know, slow on your on your computer. So what you have here is a pack of, uh, in the, uh, the the main pack, I'm going to show the HD pack in just a moment with some extra features, but this main pack has eight stonemason scenes, all right? So it's basically eight uh, gorgeous looking HDR images that have, you know, lighting baked in and all that. And you can just easily place your characters in the scenes and it just looks gorgeous, right? So they are very easy to use um, and extremely, you know, easy to get professional looking renders. Obviously, what you also can do is you can, when you have the camera selected, obviously turn on DOF, all right, depth of field. And I'm going to go to top view and wireframe and pretty much just set it here so it captures her eyes. There we go. And back in here, I'm going to just set it to maybe 15, all right? So you can use this to get DOF, you know, those kind of blurry backgrounds as well. All right, there we go. So the thing is, what you also can do, I'm just quickly just going to show you that you can obviously, you know, adjust them here in the render settings, right? They come pretty, you know, with the default settings, so you're free to choose for instance tone mapping and use a higher ISO value if you want a little more punch in your render right a little more over exposed colors uh, what you also can use obviously is vignetting to kind of tone down the edges of the render a little bit and just focus your main lighting on the center of the image you can play with that all right and obviously you can just change you know these maps are made with a kind of a default white-ish look, kind of a, you know, normal look and feel so that you can just add your own blue tone for more orange look or orangish tone for a more cold look. So you're free to choose that. Awesome. Let me go back to default. I'm going to show, show you a few more things here. All right. So the thing is, it captures, you know, the shadow on the ground, right? So let me just remove the DOF effect. It captures the shadow on the ground. And it's very easy to switch between those uh, different uh, maps. So say you want to have the Asian square. It's actually based on Stonemason's uh, Streets of Asia 3, right? Which is a cool looking prop. And you're just free to, you know, position your model any way you like get some really cool renders off the bat. So you don't need to adjust any lighting. Uh, you don't need to load any props. It's all there. You just, you know, load your model. And you can also load props, right? You don't just need to limit yourself to just adding those characters. You can actually load props. I want to show that in just a second. So you can choose the uh, Chinese city, which is actually based on Stonemason's walled city, right? It's a huge, cool prop. And as you can see, it's very, very easy to just quickly, you know, position your model and just get a cool looking render. It's just that easy, super, super fast. Now, the HD pack has some additional cool things like, you know, fillers and extra resolution, all that. I'm going to just cover that in a moment. So we got London. London is a really, really cool thing. I just love the, the wet street look and feel. Right? Awesome. So you can have those London, you know, renders. Um, really cool. So we got the Mediterranean, which is an older prop from Stonemason. Still just one of my favorites, uh, which is a gorgeous, you know, looking prop here. And has sea level included here with the map, which is, you know, when I designed them, I, I was thinking, you know, what can I add as an additional element? So we got a waterline here, which is just, you know, very cool. And very, very easy, very quick to, to render and add. Uh, look just stunning, right? So we've got the temple. These maps in the normal pack, uh, the non-HD pack, 
are 7,000 um, times three and a half. All right. So very cool. Very easy to just you know position your model any way you like. Just left click to orbit, right click to pan. Uh, very very easy. Very cool. So just in seconds you can get beautiful lighting, beautiful you know everything just connects uh, easily, right? So you got Venice streets of you know based on Star Mason's uh, streets of Venice, uh, which is another awesome looking uh, scene. Gorgeous looking lighting and you know you got 360 degree uh, scenes. You can just easily move the camera in and out to place your character anywhere you like, and it just matches the, the lighting automatically. So that is how easy it is. We got one more, which is the alley, right? Also an older prop, which is still awesome, cool looking. Excuse me, lost my voice there. That happens when you talk a lot. So, all right. So, I mean, it's very, very easy to just position, just move the camera and, you know, zoom in and out or move the camera in and out and zoom in and out just to, to um, position that, right? Very cool. Very easy. All right. Let me just move a little bit closer here so we can get a shot from this direction. Awesome. So that's how easy they are to use. Now, they are, you know, th this is meant for outdoor renders, but as you can see, at times it gets a little bit, how should I say, a little bit dark, right? Because, I mean, this is outdoor renders and they have kind of a touch of our model. Let me just bring her back to her normal position, right? Let me just go to Kathy and go in here. All right, and just reset her position. I kind of lost her. Let me reset the camera. There we go. I think I just went a little bit nuts there with the camera. So I kind of lost our lady in the process. That happens. There we go. All right, so as you can see, the, I mean, the lighting is gorgeous, but it's a little bit dark in the shadows, right? So if you want some additional cool effects, I highly recommend you get the HD pack, which has the same base eight images, backgrounds, plus two more, all right? So as you see, they're the same ones as you just uh, saw, but it also has additional two. One of them is the, the Desert Station, uh, based on Star Wars, there's the Outpost, right, which is an awesome looking map as you can see gorgeous lighting all that got all the cool areas and stuff and one more is the pool villa just an amazing amazing you know set just love this one pool villa so those two additional you have here all right uh, what you also have in addition to that these are high resolution so they have they are eight times eight eight thousand times 4,000 pixels, all right? So they are high resolution. And you got two extra backgrounds, all right? Compared to the normal version. Plus you got every single background of them includes also a filler as an additional kind of uh, variance, so to speak. So say you wanna have an additional light source in here, you load the pool villa plus fill, all right? What that means, it adds an additional light source right in the render, as you can see, and it illuminates her from behind. So it's kind of on the opposite side of the sun. You have a huge filler, right? It's like, like, like an assistant standing there with a huge, you know, white reflector shield. And it just, you know, adds additional lighting here. What this does, it creates some gorgeous looking lighting. So you can just easily get those professional looking renders. All right. Very, very easy because you have additional lighting, so it's, you know, more, um, the shadows are not as dark and you just immediately get those professional looking renders. So now what you can do is just add a little bit of um, DOF, all right, depth of field. Let me just adjust it from the top view. There we go. Awesome. And switch back. And I'm going to increase the uh, ISO. I just, no, it's my per personal preference. I like a little bit more washed out look and feel, but that's 
you know, I left the backgrounds kind of by default. They are normal looking with normal, kind of normal exposure as much as possible. Um, they are 360, so there's always something that's overexposed. But, you know, going a little bit more here, what you see now is that suddenly you, your image pops a lot more with the HD version because you, got, you get this additional light if you want to have it there, right? You can always say, hey, I don't, I don't like this extra light or the extra light is getting in my way. Well, then you can just choose the HD Pull Villa without that and instantly you're rendering without that extra light. Maybe you like that extra, you know, darker, moody look and feel or whatever, you know, you want to have. So it's the same for all these maps. So if you choose Venice and choose go without the fill, all right, this is the HD version. You go without the fill. And let's say we would just, you know, position our model here. All right. Uh, let's rotate it around, Kathy. And let's do uh, Y rotate. Let's rotate it towards the camera. So normally you want to place the sunlight kind of from behind her, uh, which is kind of cool, but kind of a little bit dark in the shadows, right? And then you can just use the HD versions fill to add extra light. This fill does not project on the buildings. It only projects on her. So we can choose here a you know more professional look and feel and get that lighting baked into the, the scene. Let me just show one more example. Let's go to Asian Square with Phil, all right? So all in all, the HD version has 20 high resolution maps, all right? So it gives you a little bit more options when it comes to designing your uh, the scene. Uh, so let's go Kathy rotator around again. There we go. So you can more easily, you know, play and find gorgeous looking angles when you have those dual uh, lights, right? So one is coming from, from the sun and then you get an additional from this huge filler. So you can play with those in a really nice looking uh, lighting on, on the characters. Now I've got the uh, DOF on, which may be not so suitable in this particular case. Awesome. So that is it, guys. And you know so go ahead take you no know, advantage of the uh, pre-launch offer uh, both at 50 percent off uh, the main one this one over here with eight gorgeous looking you know uh, maps 1995 right now and the hd pack which has two additional backgrounds in high resolution including the filler you know filler versions is 29.95 so 20 uh, HDR maps. That's one dollar something per map, which is really, really, you know, awesome, uh, great uh, price. And I mean, if you're looking to get this, you know, Stowmates look and feel just look amazing. This is it, guys. And I also I forgot to show you that you can actually load props to your scene. All right, so it's not just for for you know uh, characters. I mean, you can just easily. Go to um, props, stonemason, all right, and choose. Um, let's go to this particular scene, which is Streets of Asia Three, and let's say, hey, I want um, an additional column. So let's load that into the scene, and now it is in a part of the scene, and you can move this column, all right. Uh, translate. And place it here and it interacts with the scene right so you're not limited to just using characters you can actually redo um the, the scenes and they just look like part of the image right because the shadows are there it just collects so go ahead grab this now have fun with it and see you next time